I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Cardinals vs. Brewers My team pick is Milwaukee Moneyline With Game 3 being postponed, the Mets swept the Cardinals in their two-game series. St. Louis tallied 11 hits and got on the board early, scoring three runs in the first inning. Unfortunately, there wasn't much to do after that. Alec Burleson led the way, going 3-5 at the plate which included a solo shot in the sixth. Miles McCullers got the start and over four innings he allowed six runs on nine hits while retiring four. RHP Lance Lynn is set to take the mound for the Cardinals in the series opener. Lynn has topped the Brewers in his last three matchups against them. Most recently, he tossed for seven innings where he allowed no runs on four hits and struck out three. Lynn will be making his eighth start of the season and currently holds a 1-0 record to go with an ERA of 3.28. Lynn has tossed best on the road this season, dropping his ERA to 1.13, but this has not come by way of strikeouts. Over 16 road innings, he's retired just nine batters and opponents have been hitting around .230 at the plate. Things are about the same when he's tossing under the lights, although his K rate has improved. Lynn has also accrued quite the BB count as well. He finished the month of April strong, but he averaged a home run per start and recorded 12 walks over five outings. St. Louis enters this series averaging 3.5 runs per game, landing them at 29th in the league. The Cardinals have been subpar at the plate, currently sitting 28th in collective batting average. Fortunately, the Cardinals have hit their best both on the road and in night games this season. Road affairs have seen St. Louis tally over half their doubles, but fewer than half of their home runs have come away from home this season. Along with the inconsistent batting, the Cardinals sit 28th in hits per game. This has hindered their ability to hit home runs and ultimately led to them having runners in scoring position. They have been around middle of the pack in terms of receiving walks and striking out, but the inability to hit for solid contact has continued to slow this offense down. They should be able to make some headway against the inconsistent Myers here. Simply put, the Cardinals as a road favorite is a hard team to back. St. Louis has struggled to put runs on the board and sit bottom two in both runs and hits per game. Lynn has been a solid pitcher, but he doesn't force too many strikeouts. The Brewers should be able to take advantage here as they sit top 10 in hits and home runs per contest. Myers has been inconsistent, but the Cardinals lineup is certainly one in which he can regain confidence. My total pick is over 7.5 runs. Milwaukee sits top 10 in runs per game, and while their bats have been weaker at home, they've found ways to send the ball yard when hitting under the lights. Myers has been erratic, as mentioned, which could provide the Cardinals with some sustainable hitting rhythm. Lynn's biggest crutch is that he doesn't log too many Ks. This should bode well for the Brewers, as they have seen their K rate rise in tandem with their homers. Both offenses should find a path to runs here as Myers is erratic and Lynn can have trouble escaping innings. Guardians vs. White Sox My team pick is Guardians win Brian Rocchio's decisive line drive single in the bottom of the 10th inning secured a 5-4 victory for the Cleveland Guardians over the Detroit Tigers at Progressive Field. This marked Rocchio's first career walk-off hit, sealing the team's third walk-off win of the season. Earlier in the game, David Fry's solo home run in the ninth inning off Tigers left-hander Andrew Chafin forced extra innings, highlighting Fry's versatility and clutch hitting abilities. Manager Steven Voigt praised Fry's contributions, I can't speak enough to what David means to us being able to catch, play first, play third, play outfield, and obviously come up with clutch hit after clutch hit when he's not playing every day, Voigt said. 
He's just a baseball player and David's invaluable for us. Emmanuel Clace, the Guardian's reliever, earned the win with solid pitching backed by stellar defense from Rocchio and Andres Jimenez. Rocchio's quick thinking and communication with Jimenez resulted in a crucial out in the top of the 10th inning, setting the stage for the Guardian's victory. Tyler Freeman's sacrifice bunt moved Ramon Laureano into scoring position before Rocchio's game-winning hit. Reflecting on the win, Rocchio expressed gratitude. The real feeling is that sense of confidence from all the guys cheering me on because they've been through the ups and downs and they've been supporting me even in hard times. The victory marked the Guardians' first series win against the Tigers since August 11, 2022. Despite struggles earlier in the game, the Guardians' bullpen delivered six scoreless innings of relief, allowing the team to mount a comeback. Cleveland's early offensive efforts were stifled by Tigers pitcher Reese Olsen, but they managed to capitalize on defensive miscues to take an early lead. The Guardians now look ahead to a challenging road trip to face the Chicago White Sox, with right-hander Ben Lively set to take the mound for Cleveland. This is a bet for the Guardians as much as it is against the White Sox. Led by the reliable arm of Ben Lively and supported by a bullpen that ranks among the league's best in saves, strikeouts, and overall effectiveness, offers a compelling argument for wagering on their success. Lively's consistent performance, showcased by his impressive 2.08 ERA, not only instills confidence in the Guardians' ability to stifle the Chicago White Sox's offense, but also sets a high standard for pitching excellence. Furthermore, the Guardians' bullpen, which ranks second in saves, signifies their proficiency in preserving leads and shutting down opposing hitters in crucial moments of the game. Beyond statistics, the Guardians boast a well-rounded roster that combines defensive ability, offensive firepower, and good timing of playing four in a row against the worst team in the majors. My total pick is under 7.5 runs. The White Sox have a slightly below average over under record of 7-9-1 at home this season, indicating that they have been involved in lower scoring games more often than not when playing at their home stadium. Additionally, their overall over under record for the season stands at 17-19-1, further suggesting that they have been involved in relatively low scoring contests overall. On the other hand, the Guardians have shown a tendency to play in lower scoring games, particularly on the road within the AL Central, where they hold an over under record of 0-2. Moreover, the pitching matchup for this game appears to favor low scoring outcomes. With Ben Lively boasting an impressive 2.08 ERA and Eric Fed showcasing a solid 3.46 ERA, both pitchers have demonstrated the ability to keep opposing offenses in check. Additionally, Lively and Fed have combined for a total of 65 strikeouts this season, indicating their effectiveness in limiting scoring opportunities for hitters. Royals vs. Angels My team pick is Angels Moneyline both starters have been able to pitch effectively, but they have also had horrible outings thus far into the season. Kansas City is the favorite, but I have more faith in the Angels at home despite their poor record. Detmers has been the better starter this year, and the Angels have beaten the Royals 7 of their last 10 times. Kansas City is below .500 on the road this year, and I expect them to regress more as the season goes along. My total pick is... Over 7.5 runs. Watcha has not proven to be capable of shutting an offense down as we enter 2024. On the other side of the coin, Detmers has not been reliable in his last few starts. To top it off, both bullpens rank number 26 or worse in the league. Even without Trout, Los Angeles has been able to score, and they are 19-17 on the over this season. The Angels have given up the third most runs in the American League, while the Royals have a top five offense in terms of runs scored in the American League. Simply put, I don't have trust in either starter or bullpen to hold the other under four runs.